A and AS level mathematics. Lesson 32, Trigonometry Part 4. We're going to be looking at equivalent angles. So, if the sine of x is 0.5, find the value of x. Well, for that we need a calculator. And we're going to be working in degrees, so let's make sure it's in degree mode to start with. And let's do inverse sine of 0.5. Inverse sine 0.5. And that gives an answer of 30 degrees. So the answer is x equals 30 degrees. But is that the only answer? Well, for that we need to look at the graph. So if that's 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees and 360 degrees, going up to plus 1, and down to minus 1, we should be able to sketch the sine graph. So that goes up to there, and comes down to there. So there we have the graph of y equals sine x. 30 degrees is there. In other words, if this graph was drawn perfectly, that would in fact be 0.5 there. But it shows that there's another angle over here with the same sine value. And that other angle is, looking at the symmetry of the graph, because if that's 30 degrees there, that must be 30 degrees there, therefore this angle must be 150 degrees. Therefore x is 30 degrees and 150 degrees. So those are the two answers if x lies between 0 and 360 degrees. But the range could be different. Let's look at this graph. This is the graph of y equals sine x again. But instead of just being between 0 and 360, it's drawn between minus 450 degrees to plus 450 degrees. So if you look again at this, an inverse sine of 0.5 we get is 30 degrees, as before, which is on this graph, about there. In other words, there's 0.5. But it does mean to say that this, the answer we found just now, of 150, is only one of an infinite possible number of answers, because there's another one at 390, and there's another one at 510, and there's another one at minus 210. And there's another one at minus 330 degrees. So, when we consider solving an equation like that, we actually need to have a range of answers that we're expected. So for now, let's stick to our range as being between 0 and 360 degrees. Don't forget this could be labelled in radians as well, so I've got pi there and 2 pi there. So, let's have a look at this one. If the sine of x is 0.268, working in degrees, the calculator is in degree mode, we'll do inverse sine of 0.268, which will give me an answer of 15.545. Let's do it to one decimal place, and we get the x is 15 0.5 degrees. Now to find the other possible answer we need a sketch which we should be able to do very quickly to give us a picture of what's going on that that is 15.5 degrees therefore this angle here of 180 minus 15.5 degrees gives me another value 
with the same sine. Another angle with the same sine uh, of 0.268. So we've got our two answers of 15.5 degrees and 164.5 degrees when the sine of the angle is 0.268. Let's do one more sine question. So if the sine of x is minus 0.453, what's the value of x? So let's do inverse sine negative 0.453 equals and that gives us an answer of x equals minus 26.9 degrees so the calculator is given this answer a negative answer 26.9 degrees but we're only considering answers between 0 and 360 degrees so let's sketch our graph And in fact, extend it in the other direction. So in fact, we can put on here that there is minus 26.9 degrees. So the calculators gave us that answer. But in fact, what we're looking for is this angle here. And this angle here. This is why I like drawing the graph so you can actually see what's going on. So looking at the symmetry of the graph, this is 26.9 degrees. So this must also be 26.9 degrees. Therefore this angle we're looking for, 180 plus 26.9 degrees. And this is the same as this. So the other angle is 360 minus 26.9 degrees. Working out these two answers will give me two answers in the range of 0 to 360 degrees where the sine of those two angles, when I work them out, is minus 0.453. Let's move on to the cosine. If the cosine of x is 0.358, what is the value of x? Still working in degrees, so we'll do inverse cosine. 0.358 equals and the calculator gives us the answer that x is 69.0 degrees so we'll go for that if we sketch the graph so the cosine graph goes from there to there Sixty nine degrees is about there. In other words, if this graph was drawn accurately, the value you'd see there would be that. But as a sketch, it does help us show that this angle here would also have a cosine value of 0.358. Looking at the symmetry of the graph, we're seeing that that is 69 degrees, so that must be 69 degrees. Therefore, this angle can be worked out by working out that. So the second value of our x is going to be 291 degrees. Now, you can use the calculator to check this and find that the cosine of that angle and the cosine of that angle are both approximately that. Don't forget we did a bit of correcting there. That wasn't exactly 69. But if you found the cosine of that and the cosine of that, you would find they're exactly the same value.